so, okay, so a ask me that one more time, because you said how the how-to specifics of that, right? Mm -hmm. what, what one specifically do you, do you want clarity on? Like, should we be sending them to the blog, to a specific video? Where should we be? We're going to both tackle this. Yeah. We'll, we'll both tackle these. Uh, it, it's irrelevant. It doesn't right. matter. Um, you know, at the end of the day, whether they go to a blog or read an email or see a video, they're still can, they're still getting your message, right? It's just the media channel. Um, so for me, I you know, email is the easiest. It's the most prevalent. It's the simplest way to go. Um, but like that's the easiest access. But video is the most intimate. So when you typically start with an email and then and then bounce them out to a video if you want to. Um, you know, I've never really put much thought into it other than the fact that video is more intimate these days. But video takes more work and the fact that you have to pay attention now to your presentation and how you look on video and how you handle yourself because once you get into the video world, um, it, you're now, your nonverbal communication cues are ten times more important than actually what you're saying. Whereas in email, it's all about what you're saying. In video, it's all about the nonverbal. What do you dress like? How's your hair look? What's the background behind you in the camera? How's your energy in the presentation? And that's all stuff you don't have to mess around in email. But in video, if you do it right, the connection's that much stronger. If you do it wrong, it's that much weaker. Yeah, so my approach is, is similar. But I think, it's first off, you know, when you get started, you, your questions are always like, should I send them here or there? A lot of that stuff isn't that important. It's more the right message. And for me, in terms of building a relationship, it's all about consistency. So one of the things that, I don't know, maybe you guys know about me, but I send out an email pretty much every day, or two. And the reason I do that, number one, it's profitable, but secondarily, it creates a consistent pattern of communication. And so if we communicate, you communicate with your friends more frequently than you do with people you don't know. And so if I force a consistent not communication on people, it's going to force a decision on do I like this person or not, and it, it creates that sort of, what's the right word? Get off the fence. Or, well, not get off the fence, but um, it, it, it creates sort of quasi-trust because you're showing up consistently and you're expecting this person, and then over time it fades into, the, I think it's just always there. So, <laughs> Um, it's like getting out of bed, like you don't ever think to where you're going to step if the ground's going to be there because you do it every day, right? It's always there. So if you consistently communicate at the same time, you're the same person and you're sharing value from your own perspective, which could just be entertainment, it could be something cool to do, um, you're going to resonate with the people you need to resonate with. That's my Like